Okay, three, two, one, and go. Hey guys, Maxi Design here, and welcome to a new video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a magazine cover that looks a little bit like this. Um, this is what I made two days ago. Um, I posted it on my Instagram, and, it, and uh, a lot of people really liked it. Um, if you didn't know, my Instagram is this. Um, I'll link it down below, but yeah, I just feel like there's I don't have a lot of people from YouTube that follow me on there, so maybe you want to go and follow me. Um, that'd be cool. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get in on how to make something a little bit like this. It's a little bit more creative um, than the original. Like magazine posters, magazines are usually literally just a photo. Um, so I thought I'd kind of make it a little bit nicer. I think the the one that was posted was this one, this one here, um, which is nice, but it is literally just a photo. Um, and I, I kind of want to, I kind of want to do versions of um, magazine covers that are all a little bit more creative because, yeah, <laughs> I just think magazine covers are a bit boring. Um, so yeah, um, but yeah, let's let's show you guys how to go about making something like this. Um, so what I did is I started with a, how big is this? Um, what am I doing? image size all right so I started with these measurements here if you want to take those down and make a new thing if you're gonna design along with me um, so I started with that um, and I started with a image of Frank Ocean um, which is in here so I started with this image which is uh, the image from the GQ shot um, and it's one that that, yeah, you, what you want to do is you, if you're going to do something a bit like this, you want to find a photo shoot where they've, there's a lot of different photos, um, kind of different photos, as in different types of photos, but in, in the same shoot, uh, shoot, so they're kind of all relevant to the same. Um, and then what I did was I took a square, and when you're making a square, if you hold down shift, then it make it turns it so it's it is a square basically because so, if you don't hold on shift it'll just do whatever it wants. Um, so once you have the square, I kind of plopped it about here. No, I didn't. I plopped it about here. Um, let me just put this above so I can use this as a reference. I made it a bit smaller actually. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller. So it's about that. Okay. And then what I did was I took the square. I clicked on the square, I did Control J to duplicate it, and then I changed the color over here to something like that. And I made it a little bit smaller, like that. Popped it in the corner. And then what I'm gonna do is make three more squares. So I've got four. Um, and then when you're moving, when you're moving an object, if you hold shift, it goes on that axis. So if you press shift and go up, then it'll do it up and down. Um, it just makes it easier to quickly do things. So once I've got four, I'm gonna make it so they're the size of this box. Like so. Um, and then I'm going to, something that makes it easier for me when I'm doing this is if I change all the colors of the boxes. It just means I can find each square a bit easier. So if I put them all in different colors, um, and then what you want to do is um, you can hold down shift and click on every single box um, and it makes sure that you have selected all of them. So I just did control J, move them down, control T and then and then horizontal so, so you can differentiate between the two. Um, and then I did, hold on, and then I did shift and click all of them so you've got more selected and then control j move it down like so okay now you can get rid of the box underneath so now you've just got this i'm gonna move this down a little bit i'm just gonna select them all bring them down so it's covering that right uh then what i did was i added in some more photos so what I did was I googled Frank Ocean uh, GQ uh, f 
photo shoot. And I believe I went onto a website which basically had all the things. Is it this? Oh, here we go. So I went onto the blonde, the blonded blog, and I basically just had all the photos that I needed. So it's got all of these. But I already have these in a file. So this was from something else. Um, right. So what I did was I took this file here. I'm going to put this on my second monitor so I can just look at this as well. Um, so what I did was I took different photos. I took them like that. And then I put them on one of these rectangles. And then pressed, and then right clicked, selected create clipping mask. And you can see it's actually in here. So you kind of want to just make different parts of it. And I used the same image the same image a couple of times just so that you've got different parts of the image um, so if I use this here so I can use something like something like that duplicate it again move it to a different square move him up where is he haven't created clipping mask yet Something like that. And then I use it one more time. Maybe bring him back to the top. Like that. Um, and I did it for every single square. I'll just go ahead and do that now. Right, so now I've done that, um, what I'm going to do is select them all, um, like so, and then press the group icon, which is this one here, uh, and then I'm going to duplicate it, because I'm going to merge one, and I don't want to get, I don't want to remove it, so once I've done that, done that like so, now what I need to do is add the logo, so I added it about... About here, like that, I think. Yeah, that's about right. Um, and then what I did was to, took the magic wand tool, made sure I'd selected the background, um, and went across to the GQ logo, rasterized it before I took it, and oh, I need to I need to reverse the selection inverse sorry get rid of that then I made it sort of the same color as the background but a bit lighter like so um, and then I added in all this text um, which is really easy I used the Font Gotham, um, just made sure it lined up with that. Like so. Why is that not? There we go. And I just lined it up with that. Um, yeah, so the text is quite easy. 
all you do is add that in um, and yeah it's pretty much it it's quite a quick tutorial just to make it look a little bit nicer um, and then what I did after that is I added noise so I literally just merged everything together make sure you group everything and then duplicate so you don't destruct destroy the layers below when you're merging everything uh, then you want to add noise I added about 34 and yeah that's pretty much it I think it really looks quite nice um, and I have, think it could be used in a lot of different ways um, even on like a, a header could look nice on a header um, but yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching I'm going to make sure that I try and post about three times a week four, yeah, three times a week I think I'm going to aim for um, and I'm going to try and give you different tutorials um, like I said I've got an Instagram which is Max Chadwick with two eyes um, so go ahead and follow that I have a lot of different things I posted on here so I'm going to make sure to go and um, show you guys how I did them um, stuff like this I think could be really interesting um, maybe even hmm I think this could be cool to show you guys how to do uh, these I think, I think these were one of my favourites kind of did a thing with like gradients and stuff um, this was quite cool um, so yeah go ahead and follow that and I'll see you guys in the next video see ya